Princeton was established in 1860. It has a very unique geographic location. We're in the middle of everything. So we're the first town that you get to as you cross coming from the coast or the last town before you cross to get to the coast. Princeton is situated between two rivers, the Sonoquemine and the Tulamine, but we're also situated between Hope and the interior. So you come over the mountains and you come to Princeton, and then from Princeton you would go up to the Nicola or the towards Kamloops, or you go into the interior. So Princeton exists for that reason. We're in the middle of everything. We have a population of around 3,000 people directly in town. And then if you include the regional district area, we're, we service about 5,000 people in this area. I think one of the big advantages we have is we still have industrial land available and it's mo the most affordable industrial land in the province. And then you also have the fact that housing is, is still less than it is in most areas. Princeton's had three main industries since the beginning of Princeton. It's been mining, ranching, and logging. And still today, those are our three primary industries. Because of our, our location to the Lower Mainland and to our markets, we have been able to expand into non-traditional markets. And this is growing our economy and it's growing it quite rapidly as well. It's really a, a great spot because we, since we've added fiber optic uh, internet service here, so that's changed everything. And in the, the entire, you can see this development and the disruptors that are happening in the economy our tax base is relatively low here compared to everywhere else in the province. And you do have all the amenities um, for a small town. We have a full, you know, we have a hospital here, there's medical here. And we're working on developing Princeton as a destination. We've taken the stance that we gotta lead by example. So if we want businesses to, you know, invest into their, into their business, the municipality needs to invest into their assets. And our assets are our community. So we've been investing heavily into our community to not just make it look beautiful, but to make you feel proud of where you're from. And you'll see that if you walk around the community, there's, there's statues, there's you know, all these new works, the town looks clean, it looks, it looks revived. And that's our goal, is we want people to come here and feel, you know, feel energetic and really want to be part of something. Our infrastructure has been neglected for the last you know, 30 to 50 years and this council has taken it upon themselves to dive into that and fix that. We're borrowing money to repair infrastructure, uh, we're working with investors to expand housing opportunities and this is going to be able to grow our capacity for workers as well as be able to put us in a place where it's going to be another 30 years before you're going to have to worry about what, what state our infrastructure is in and that has been key. It's getting us back on our feet after being neglected for so long. I think the big thing right now is we're on a, working on a Rediscover Princeton campaign. And Princeton for a long time was a drive through It was a place people came, they stopped, they'd get gas, they'd grab a bite to eat, and then they'd be on their way. So in over the past four years through council initiatives, we, you know, we've had approval to do the gateways and the signs and the bronze sculptures. We're within 45 minutes of two ski hills. It also opens you up to skidooing, ATV and mountain biking, uh, the Kettle Valley Railroad, the KVR Trans-Canada Trail as, as it's also known, uh, runs through Princeton. But we also have 50 lakes here and within those 50 lakes we have fishing, we have the rivers, we have lakes, we have streams. The opportunities to explore the outdoors here is just immense. The Princeton RV campground is one of our jewels and it's right on the Smelkameen River. With that, I mean, you can, you can camp by the river, you can go golf, it's only a couple minutes from downtown and I mean, you really get, you get that full feeling of Princeton. I mean, you get to be outdoors, you get to experience everything great that we have to offer here. It's a place now that is more than just, just somewhere to get gas. We have to be able to weather every storm that comes our way and when we have all these different economic pillars there and secure and, and strong, we can do that. And that means that in 100 years, Princeton should still be here.
I'm extremely excited about the future here. I think this town has a lot of potential. It's very good for the community to have an open mind and try things that are different. It was one of the reasons why I moved here. This is home and I'm trying to do my best, not just for myself and my family, but for everybody who lives here. And I, I hope that that's, you know, seen.